Today we are going to have a Harry Potter inspired craft day. I've been working on an idea for a while with the help of my husband Pete. We are making a Harry Potter wand catnip toy. So Pete 3D printed a bunch of Harry Potter wands for me. He um, scaled them down so they're a little bit smaller because it's for a cat and uh, decided to buy brown filament instead of the clear like I originally was going to use and then paint them. So he thought, you know, why not just buy brown and cut out the whole painting process that speeds up making them and in, in the long run, run, I can't even speak, in the long run it'll make it a little bit cheaper so I'm not having to buy paint and Mod Podge and all that good stuff. So Pete did the wands for me. It's two pieces. There's the handle and then the wand. And then he drilled holes in both ends and put a tiny, tiny little dowel in between to lock them together to give them that extra support and make them stronger. And then he put a little bit of Gorilla Glue in there to stick it all together. And then I have been sewing the Deathly Hallows for the catnip toy part. And then I have about, I wanna say two feet of string so that it hangs from the wand, kinda of like a fishing pole. Um, if you've been to my Etsy shop before, you may have seen that I have a similar toy. It's a stick wrapped in black ribbon and then it has a string with a bat, one of our my uh, popular catnip bats in my Etsy shop, Gothic Beagle. And so I took that idea, inspiration, and decided to go with a Harry Potter theme. And I thought this will be a lot of fun. I'm so excited. I'm finally able to do this and share it with you guys. And by the time this video is up, they, there should be some in my Etsy shop unless they've sold out. We are going to be making more. I have to order more brown filament. But in the meantime, I am cutting out more of the felt Deathly Hollows. So... If you're not uh, familiar with Harry Potter, you're wondering what the heck is Deathly Hollows? What does that triangle mean? Uh, this is a symbol that represents the Elder Wand, the Resurrection Stone, and the Cloak of Indi Invisibility. So the triangle part represents the cloak, the circle, represents the resurrection stone and the straight line represents the elder one. I uh, ended up drawing out the pattern so that I could then trace the pattern onto my felt using Taylor's chalk and then cutting it out that way just to make it easier. And that worked out really, really great. So I'm gonna put that to the side. Um, Earlier in the video, you saw uh, some footage of me sewing the Deathly Hollows part. Today, I'm going to be working on stuffing them with catnip. So I, I sewed them enough and then left a tiny little pocket. So we'll be stuffing some catnip in there. And then I'm going to go back upstairs. I didn't want to bring my sewing machine down here because it's just bulky and awkward. I'm going to go upstairs, stitch them shut. And once they're all shut... We are going to add one of these little tips to it and glue it on to the wand and they'll be done. And then I, I plan on wrapping the, the long string and then putting like a little twist tie just so it doesn't get all tangled up with each other while they're in, in the bin for my Etsy shop. So that is the plan today. I have one done. This was the prototype that I made. This was originally clear filament from the 3D printer and I painted it brown and then I have a layer of Mod Podge over it which gives it that kind of glossy look because I use a glossy Mod Podge and uh, I just like using Mod Podge over anything I paint because it locks in the paint, protects it a little better and I just like the way it looks. So this is a finished one prototype. I'm going to keep this one for my kitty Sky. So hopefully at the end of this video I can get some footage of her playing with it or maybe Shorty because Shorty likes catnip toys as well. 
think that'll be really, really cute. So let's get to it. I have my catnip here, lots of catnip. Uh, I've got some pins to pin it once all the catnip is in place so that it doesn't come open. We've got Gorilla Glue. We have coffee. Cheers. Hmm. I've got nine wands and there's more printing. So we're going to start with nine and I have, I think, ten of these all prepped and ready for catnip. I know that's kind of odd, but like I said, there's still some printing. So I'm going to quit babbling. We are going to time lapse working on these. Enjoy. with catnip and I made quite the mess. I am going to put this portion of the video on pause and take these upstairs, stitch them shut, clean up my mess, and I'll be right back to finish it up by attaching them to the wand. I'm so excited. So be right back. A few moments later. And like that, a few moments later, they are all stitched together. That didn't take very long at all. I think the longest part of doing these is cutting out the felt, just because of all the, the details, and then stitching it all on. When I stitch the, um, the white part on, I use white thread, and then when I stitch it all together, I use a clear thread so that it doesn't uh, show black or white on the different fabrics. It just looks cleaner, I think. All right, so now to finish up, we are going to be attaching the Deathly Hollows catnip toy to the wand. But first, I need to pull out my little end caps. And I need, what, nine of them? One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, and nine. Off to the side. Where's my needle? I have a, a really big needle. I use this when I uh, crochet the Harry Potter inspired dog scarves. When I finish, I, I stitch the end closed, and this is the needle I use, so I can't lose this. So my plan is to poke this through uh, so we're going to attach the De Deathly Hollows string to the needle, poke it through that end cap, oh, maybe, it worked the first one I did, oh come on, oh. What did I do differently? Oh, I think I had poked it first with a, a normal pin and then this big guy so that it would go in smoother. And of course, I took my pin cushion upstairs. <sighs> Give me a second. I'm back. Grabbed a smaller needle and a thimble just in case. I know this would probably be a whole lot easier if I just filmed it where my sewing machine is, but 
it's such a small space where the sewing machine is. It's in a corner of my bedroom and that's awkward. I don't want to film in my bedroom. So we make do here. I mean, I could always move it into the office. That's a lot easier than bringing it all the way downstairs here. But nah, this is doing just fine. We are making it work. Okay, I almost stabbed myself. That would have been horrible. There's the, the start with just a regular needle. Now the bigger needle with that string on it. I gotta find the hole. That's what she said. Okay, here we go. Pulling it all the way through. Hopefully. Oh, come on. Oh, you beast. The first one was no problem, but of course, that was because I did it off camera. Oh, hey, there we go. Awesome. I got it. Now I'm just going to tie a little knot. <sighs> and that is done. Pull it, but not too hard so it comes through. Okay, perfect. Now I'm going to put that to the side and do the other nine. And then we'll glue because I don't want to like stop glue. Ugh. I'll just do every process on its own. So I think I will do another time lapse. portion's done. Now it's time to glue the tip to the wand. Deathly Hallows catnip toys are now attached to the wand. They're finished. I'm so excited. So the next step I am going to do is wrap the cord around the wand and then put a twist tie just to keep it in place so they don't get all tangled up. And I do that while I have them in my Etsy storage bins so that they don't get all jumbled up and everything. So that's pretty much it. Um, these will be up in my Etsy shop. I'm going to be selling them for $13 plus shipping and handling. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave me a comment, like the video, go check out my Etsy shop. If you have a cat or 
Know somebody who has a cat that's a Harry Potter fan? These will make a great gift for the holiday season. Um, if they're out of stock, don't worry. I will be making more and they will be back in stock soon. So just keep checking back. You could also check out my Gothic Beagle Facebook page uh, for updates on any sales I may have throughout the year. <laughs> I sometimes post holiday sales with a special code and all that stuff. I will leave a link to my Etsy shop and my Gothic Beagle Facebook page down below in the description area. There's all kinds of links if you're ever curious about things. I always try to leave details about the camera I use, the location I filmed in, uh, what else? Uh, any music that's in the video, there's, you know, I always credit the music because that's the right thing to do, and so on. So check out the description. There's some fun stuff down there. There's also links to other merchandise you can get that's not in my Etsy shop. We do have some random life adventures, face masks, and t-shirts. So that could be fun too. All right, I'm going to wrap these up and wrap up this video. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.